Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. And this is a very, very, very exciting video. Yes. And so we have our dear friend and family member, Rosemary DeJuric. She's been with us before, done a few interviews and, you know, with everything going on in the world. Uh, boy, do we need to talk about this stuff. How to stay healthy, how to survive in these times, how to detox, you know, how to handle everything that's being thrown at us. And thank you, Rosemary, for joining us. Thank you, and welcome to everyone, all the way from the land down under. <laughs> yes, and Rosemary is self-sufficient, and she is off-grid and in Australia. Yes, which is people would think would be unusual considering Australia. Well, it's such a big country and continent, and, you know, again, it's it's just about the size of the U.S., but I don't even know how many people are in Australia. I would say probably not many more than maybe is in Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, about 25 million, somewhere around there. Yeah, so so less than in, that's in the state of Texas. That's spread out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I was wondering, Rosemary, just for people, other people, you are self-sufficient, and all of your herbs, you, you grow nearly everything, as far as I know, you grow it all. Can you tell people a little bit more about your property and how you remain self-sufficient? Okay. Um, we, we live off a generator, so we, not, we don't have it all the time, so we just use electricity when it's need, needed to be. Um, we have fridges. I don't know if you guys have them over there, but they run on LPG gas, so... They can, you can have them all the time as long as you've got gas. You don't need electricity, so at least that's a bonus. Um, what I do here, uh, I grow certain herbs, which are multi-purpose herbs, and I think, um, well, what's coming up now is, like if you see on the news, uh, and they haven't really mentioned natural herbs, or they're starting to ban a lot of imports into Australia. And uh, like yesterday on TV, a lot of the pharmaceutical products like antibiotics and kids' medicine is is um, in short supply. So I think the correlation between the two, um, they're planning for something much bigger. And I think we need to get the message out to people now that you need to start preparing, get your herbs, pack them away. Um, like we discussed before, get the powders um, because you, and protein powders. Nutrition is going to be the most important thing that you're going to need later on. And especially self-sufficient means that whatever happens, if you break your arm fair enough, you need to go to the hospital. But you need to be in, in a way that herbs, most of the herbs, they do fix everything. But you need to know what you're doing. You can't just take anything out of the blue there is side effects and interactions with a lot of herbs so you, you need to do your research um, a lot of the stuff that i have on the website is for that purpose it, we don't make money out of this you know we need to work like every other person just to keep our business going um so whatever whatever's on the website it's there for everyone to read it a lot of it's all clinical information and a lot of it is not from the internet where you're gonna have other people's point of view i work with these herbs and i know how they work so i can tell you that they do work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right i i know so many times you have been so good about helping to guide me and even you know helping so many other people on basic ways to detox and we wanted to take a look at that and see you know what kind of metals what kind of detox do we need to do for and from what yeah you have your article there that's talking about heavy metal toxins and of course the uh nanu nanu that we're all getting faced with yes okay. indeed um so what do you want me to, do you want to go through the blog or do you want me to just talk about it? Um, if you want to just talk about it, that's fine. And then I'll post all the links to the blogs. Okay, no worries. So as everyone is aware that like we get assaulted um, with our body system through the skin, what we breathe, our mucous membranes being your eyes, your nose. So it's not just one channel that your body is incorporating all these toxins so to speak so and then like it attacks your thyroid i don't think anyone really realizes that the first usually the first place will be your thyroid that gets assaulted with any radiation or anything any metal in your body i know because i have a hip replacement 
which has been four times, which we've talked about it before. But as soon as I had that hip um, changed, I noticed the changes in my body straight away. The thyroid started to get slower. Um, your skin starts to get rashes, like every now it's, it gets hypersensitive. Um, so we need to reduce the toxic load. So uh, there's a good, uh, um, it's in the, it's inside the paperwork that on the blog. So you, people can read it. It's really in depth. And what I've, this is part two of the one that we've done before the heavy metal um, spraying in the sky one. That's there too, but this is part two to it with um, a few other bits and pieces, which I don't want to get anyone in trouble. So what we need to reduce the toxic load is we need to get, Her, like herbs and especially like bentonite clay, zeolite clay, activated charcoal, these will bind the, the metals to the body and you will literally go to, you, they'll come out when you go to the toilet. These are very, very important. Um, and I've discussed why. Um, and also there's a bit about um, the graphene oxide. There's two different materials with graphene oxide so they work as a honeycomb framework and carbon atoms um which if you read through it properly you're going to get the correlation where it activates when your oxygen is low lower so meaning in your body that's how they're targeting you because as you know we don't live healthy lives anymore um we've got poor elimination channels so if any one of your systems in the body is not working properly like your bowels your liver your kidneys you, uh the urinary like urinary system the skin that would all just back up so and the blood like we discussed before is the most important thing to your body it carries the oxygen through your body so now as you can see what's going on a lot of the stuff is correlated around that so they've picked it out nicely what they're doing to us. Um, and it's also our, our bodies are magnetic, as you know, ag ag magnetic, magnetic fields internally induced. And then, so what they've done, these all act on that nano things. I don't want to say it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what it ends up doing, it goes, in, it, goes it crosses the blood brain barrier, which is um, neurotoxicity. Okay, there's a few herbs that cross well, one of the most important herbs to cross the brain barrier is boswellia. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's the strongest one that you can have. If you have a doTERRA oil or uh, any essential oil, you can rub it on your forehead, like like where your third eye is, and that will help eliminate, at least it'll still get into your brain. It'll help eliminate a lot of the inflammation, at least. Um, uh, so as you know, I've had the hip replacement, so I do discuss about that. Um, what else do we need to know? Um, there's a lot of herbs here. I went in um, really in depth about all the foods that you need to eat, every herb that is going to benefit you with all this. It, it doesn't work overnight. It, you need to gradually introduce a lot of these things to, to yourself because you will go in a healing crisis and everyone is different the way um, they, um, their body is going to tell you. Okay, so is there something that specific you wanted to ask about? You know, for this one? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to speak to the Boswellia route because that's something that both Mike and I take that you've advised. And it's something, it does take some days to get into the body, but once it starts to work, it's really extremely beneficial. So I think that's one that, you know, because people, maybe they don't know exactly what should they take for what. And for me, the Boswellia root has really done so well. And it's also uh, frankincense, frankincense, yes. Boswellia root. Correct. So, yep. you know, one one thing that I do is I, I put frankincense on my knee, but then I also take the Boswellia root and I have it yep. going through my body nicely. And you've been taking colostrum yeah. too. Yeah. Colostrum to just give you a boost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All, all those, all these, um, they're all in there, um, and they tell you exactly what they do. So, and I've, and what is, it's also written that I put it, all the metals, what happens to you, and the side effects, what it does to your body, like exposure to heavy metals, like in toxic clinical dose, subclinical doses. So. So you've got uh, lead, you've got mercury, you've got uh, aluminium, copper, ca cardam, uh, yeah, cardamom, and all them. They're all there. So you, it's something that you can read. 
take on board just sometimes you might have to read it a couple times but at the end is you need to take what um you have in your area or what you can get uh, because coming what's coming now I, we're all going to be we're not going to have any medical assistance i can see it so people are going to have to start taking practical um lessons how to make tinctures uh look the best way sometimes you don't have if you don't have vinegar just boil it as a tea it, it does the same job so you don't need to go waste money on supplements and yeah like, like as people do get a bottle they think it's going to cure everything but most of the stuff that you buy it's all got hidden ingredients especially in supplements and vitamins yeah you know when it comes to like us we we tend to buy or you know just organic herbs in bulk and that's it yep. and so if there's like uh, any particular formula that takes three herbs we buy each one separately we buy it in bulk that way we get the best price and it's just that there's nothing else there mm -hmm. that's it yeah but people don't because synthetic vitamins is actually going to damage your liver and kidneys over time and you're not actually absorbing it it's not doing anything for you that's all chemically made mm -hmm. nature has all your vitamins and minerals in different forms um and you know that mm -hmm. you know that's something that i i really didn't understand uh before i met you about the synthetic uh, vitamins that they put in things is really 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 not good you think you're doing something good for your body but you're tearing yourself down yeah i think you sent me a picture one day and i like wrote back to you and i said take a look at what's inside it and you go like what yes yes <laughs> and i think from that day you never touched them anymore no i didn't i didn't and and a lot of the stuff that we get you know we get we eat through our food so i think right. one rule i would say we follow pretty good in the house is we we actually eat most of our medicine really i mean oh, absolutely yeah. a absolutely that's it you know so it, it's kind of preventive medicine by eating healthy in the first place and you know right now really so often our major meal is literally just a mega salad with like maybe 10 ingredients and then we have juice earlier in the day fresh juice that might have another you know five or six things in it um, I was going to touch too you, where you have over there about citrus peels. Just uh, if you get if you're getting like organic lemons and lime, you could get such a powerful uh, antioxidant uh, dosage by boiling those peels. Yes, um, in Chinese medicine, they use the mandarin peel. Um, people will know they they look it up. There's but I incorporate all the citrus. Even like people will spin out, you know, like the trees of the pear, you take the leaves, the blueberries, the blackberry leaves, the uh, raspberry leaves, that's all medicine. And, but we don't use it anymore. We've, we've, we just, oh, it's a tree. Um, just use the fruit. No, no, no. You incorporate the whole tree. Mm -hmm. That's a medicine. Like blueberries is high in vitamin. You'll see if people go on my Facebook. I'm always putting different kinds of teas. I'll go in my garden. I'll pick the white hoarhound, mugwort, feverfew, blueberry leaves, raspberry leaves, um, blackberry leaves. Like I incorporate everything. And the fig trees, again, is another medicine. Like the leaves of the fig tree is great for diabetics. Um, yeah, it's endless. Like, uh, But we're losing that touch of the old ways of medicine. Like the Aboriginal people here, the, the Native Americans, even the Indian people, they they still, a lot of them still carry on that with them, but it gets lost in translation and it's done on purpose. Like my mom, uh, God help, God rest her soul, um, she, like when I was a kid, she always used to say, because they lived in the bush, they were um, wood choppers, so like uh, they had the, the mules to cut down the wood. And she used to say, the sap of the trees, medicine. Um, how, how everything in the bush, some plant, they knew what to do. And she always used to harp about castor oil. Once a month, it was disgusting, but we took it. She used to give us a teaspoon of castor oil and say, here, this is your dewormer. That'll make you better. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because that was my mum. And that's how I think a lot of this um, instilled with me about her talking to me when I was younger about it and I think it still carries on to this day what you know the old ways they're like if I walk outside I know at least I know I don't I can have 
um, like all my herbs here are multi-purpose. They're not just for one purpose only. Like I'll give you an example. White whorehound, they class in Australia as the wheat, but unfortunately is one of the most beneficial herbs on the planet. Um, it's used for liver, gallbladder, menstrual problems. Um, it's good for respiratory. And I call this the anti-CV herb, and that's coming from me. Um, it's, I don't know how to, this, the, how it gets the, your respiratory system back to the way it should be. Oh, it's unbelievable. That herb is, and the bees love it. They go mental when it's springtime. And it's good for the heart as well. Mm -hmm. And I've, it's all written in all these blogs, so I can't say too much without people getting in trouble. But if people read and see what's in there, it's it's coming from a place where I know what these do. I'm not just selling anything just to, you know, pass the time. No, it's not that. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you are one of the few in Australia because Australia, uh, I think the numbers are like 85, 90 percent of the people there got you know what. Um, yeah, and I, it was forced. They, some of them did, didn't have a choice. And, and like, as you know, how the world seems to... Like, we've grown up in the 70s, like 60s, 70s, 80s. We had a good life. Okay? Our parents may have struggled with money, or but they got by. If, and the food wasn't like it is now, how it affects everyone. And they've, they've done... They stitched us up great. Work 14, 12 to 14 hour a day. Have kids in the childcare. Running around like it crazy people eating off fast food you, but that's so that it this was well planned in in motion and now it's to the point where our bodies can't take anything anymore they're just so unhealthy and it's a, a culmination of everything together so and they've done a good job so what would be the most important couple of things you'd recommend for somebody that that did do that thing and they're now concerned and worried okay, about just it. With the, I've got the, if you put the cardio one, the cardio circulatory system. Okay. Okay, I've put a lot of options in there. I can't, I just don't want to get anyone in trouble. Okay, I've lost someone close and dear to me um, from that. She had total organ failure. So I know where everyone's coming from. Look, some people, that's their choice. They do it. Some people still believe it's God's gift medicine in the world it's going to save everyone it, unfortunately we all have our different opinions um what i've been hearing in the grapevine um hi um at the moment people are going to the hospital um with high blood pressure out of control and the doctors are basically saying i can't help you and send you home this is what's happening and it, it is i mean it's really really horrible because i mean so many people it's like this is the year where we are literally losing family members and people that are so extremely close to us and that creates a lot of trauma that really really gets in there and then you start to want to help other people there becomes more of a purpose behind it than than just you know doing it to help people it now it's personal so you want to get yes. that information out there it is personal so what i've done i've put a lot of heart conditions in this paperwork and you need to go through because if i start talking about it you're going to get pinned so to speak so it, i've given you countless um ways to help um it's not just one one thing it's it's your kidneys your respiratory and usually the respiratory system is the last one that's gonna get like pneumonia um because of the the heart and the kidneys can't function anymore so your lungs is the last place that will cop it so you need to really start taking care of all the body systems not just one particular body system because they all work with each other so as soon as one is blocked up the next one's going to work harder to try and eliminate all the toxins so you need, everyone needs to get their breathing in check, do a lot of deep breathing exercises, start getting your lungs um, back to the strength. But the herbs like white whorehound, uh, mullah, yeah, all those herbs, they will help you in the end. Like they're gonna rebuild your, um, re rebuild your, rebuild your system. So even like um, 
check your spine. Your spine is very important because it's all the nervous system. So whatever, whatever subluxation you have in your spine, like L1, like your L5, L4, it's going to incorporate in different sections of your body. So that nervous system to that area is not going to work. So the blood flow and nerve, nerve supply is not going to be there. So I have put pictures in there of what it means for each body system. And I've given everyone a range of herbs that they can use at their disposal and you need to stock them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. Like we said before, the most important thing, when you get up in the morning, it has to be a ritual. Have your warm water with the lemon. Okay, what I've done now, I um, put aloe vera juice, prune juice, and one teaspoon of um, the collagen protein powder because that has all your amino acids. And we've discussed before between the hours of 7 and 11 a.m., that's when your body's in detox mode. So liver, especially amino acids in the morning, like a protein, like eggs, has a lot of amino acids need to be taken in that time or you don't have any you don't have you can have herbal teas that are going to help you detox that liver and your body mm -hmm. it's very important you know just really quick i wanted to touch on i don't want to bounce you around too much but i want to get this in no, so that's I, okay. I so i don't forget something that is not really spoken too much about in western medicine is parasites you know, parasites oh, and, yes. and the havoc yes. that they can wreak. Can you talk a little bit about those and what what to do? And yeah. Okay. Um, look, everyone has parasites. I don't care. You could be a vegetarian because a lot of the food that unless you got to wash it and soak it properly, you're not going to remove those items. So um, does everyone, I'm sure everyone knows about the flukes that are in your body. They're so minute uh, parasites. They actually embed inside your brain. So a lot of the time when you have a lot of sinus problems or brain fog, most of that is fluke. So what they normally would take is like just um, sunflower seeds is really good to get elimination out of the brain. Um, as you know, pawpaw, when you eat the pawpaw, um, scoop it out. Um, you can dry them. like a, You can be used like a pepper. That's I keep them. Or you scoop out and add some honey so the worms, like the parasites, get attracted to sugar. That's going to help eliminate um, parasitic in the body. So within the other, um, the prevention of um, cancer, which is on your, um, on the, I'm sure if you put on the screen, I do mention a lot about that in there. Um, overall, what to do with those things and what, what you need to eat as well to get that out. So... Wormwood, as you know, is really good. And also wormwood would um, help with any kind of autoimmune diseases as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it's just not one fix all on when you find it. So you've got like um, black walnut. Um, you've spoken many times about all these things. Um, and then you've got a big list of um, what is there to take for worms or parasites, as you might say. Uh, it's no different for your animals. So what we do for us, like you, animals need to be treated as well. And a lot of these um, stuff that they give the animals, it's it's actually, uh, I've been told, it's don't give it to them because it's actually going to damage them in the end. It's very toxic. Mm -hmm. You're trying to fix one thing, but you're actually creating another issue. Um, like even castor oil, just... Like some people can take it, some people can't. It's very strong. It will clean you out. Um, so you just it, it, will, it will send you to the toilet. Um, you gotta, you gotta try and get your body um, uh, le as, uh, less acidic as as possible. And I've actually shown how it can be done with those um, certain strips you can buy in the shop. So when you wake up in the morning, um, you go to the toilet. Uh, do what the instructions tell you to do and it'll give you um, the level of a city that you have in your body so yeah just working on that um, be mindful some of the foods that you eat they can be acidic or alkaline um, yeah yeah and again you know eat as simple as possible and just whole foods yeah and uh, more than ever now I would seriously avoid anything that doesn't say non-GMO organic because, you know, it, it, it's the sky's the limit with what's inside that. Yes. 
Um, even like zinc levels need to be, it's, it's really important. And the key mineral like and vitamin that we all need is the magnesium because that's your neurotransmitter electrical current uh, mineral that you need for your body to function at its optimum level. That um, People don't understand how uh, there's 300 different types of mechanisms that magnesium has within our body. And as you know, I use the salt that um, from Australia, which actually comes from Himalayas. I use that, put it in the water. It's, the, it's probably one of the best things that they have. Oh, I use the Schulzler, um magnesium phosphate, which is it's, it's inexpensive. Um, as you know, we, those 12 minerals are very important to our body. So when we're lacking something, and also the iron phosphate needs, you need to have it for your respiratory. So get a bottle of that as well. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of info, but again, all these links so you guys could go through it one item at a time we'll have um, put on the video there. So, you know, again, uh, so many people are seeing people dying of sudden, uh, you know, yes. SADS and yeah, yeah, myocarditis, yeah. heart attacks, all this. Um, it's interesting because the, the guides keep coming through last night again saying deep breathing, deep breathing, qigong exercises, and then cardio so key yep. even, even for us that haven't done that thing because it's everywhere it, it's everywhere and you know one thing we haven't talked about directly was the plague upon the land and then the cure for the plague upon the land the way we view it is that the cure is a more intensified version of the plague upon the land um yep. so to speak but it, it's of the same essence and so, you know, again, we don't know what's in those clouds. We have no clue what's coming down from above all the time or what's in the water because what comes down from That's above true. seeps into That's the true. water supplies. So, um, what, you know, as you were talking, one of the things that hit me was, you know, we haven't used bentonite clay in like a, a while now. So it, it's, it's one of those things where you might want to write things down, get them on a blackboard just so you remember there's so much to do to take care of our health um i think the sad reality is you know that uh, we're going to have a lot less people on the planet in the future because unfortunately so many people are they're just going to take the easy way out they're they're not going to look in depth and realize wow there's a lot to taking care of your health yes but i think people i'm not sure and i'm going to bring this up and um, people can go and check on the um, the local government sites in Australia because we have a local land council here. So you have to literally, I've sent it to Cindy before, uh, PDF about it. You literally have to declare every animal on your property, they need to be tagged. So wherever that animal live, like especially for the farmers, wherever that animal goes, like to the abattoirs or to you sell it, you need to document where it went. So they track the animals like you wouldn't believe it. But the main, like, one of, one of our cousins has a poultry, like he sells live poultry, and he, and he said um, to me on Saturday, it was our Orthodox Christmas, and he goes, do you know as of next year that all animals have to be um, jabbed with the mRNA? And I'm like, you're joking. I'm like, okay, that's good because my chick, if I have under 100 chickens, I don't need to declare them. So I need to keep 99 chickens. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, so this is the way it's going. So what I've, so what, everyone needs to be mindful. So milk powders, baby formula, um, whatever you buy from now on, you need to ask the question, where does it come from? what is actually in it because they're assaulting us left right and center it's in the foods now and even in, in canberra they have a um insect farm here mm. it's a register it's an actual business so i don't know what they're doing with it <laughs> so it's it's scary times it's really scary times yeah and this is a marathon too so you know we're still in that preparatory phase uh, it, we have to think long term. It, we've we yes. got a lot of information last night. We were up most of the night with uh, Cindy channeling, and we'll be sharing some info maybe tomorrow uh, with what we got as far as some schedules and timelines. But there's a long way to go with this. But I think yeah. the 
the bright side is that if you can maintain your sovereignty and especially through this big push that they're doing right now, um, you know, you'll ultimately be able to have a lot more freedom, I think, down the line than we're facing in the immediate future. So I think we have to uh, hold on, stay strong, uh, assert our will and, you know, say no, simply no and and get outside the system as much as possible because this yeah. is a marathon. So, you know, what you're doing there, that's uh, very, very inspiring you know because you are basically uh you're ready you're you're on your own you're you're growing your own food and medicine mm -hmm. i wish i could do youtube like you guys but i'm not one of those. people would, if they see what i do here they'll be just like wow you know i sometimes i think i should share it but i've been told just to keep it a bit private you need to be um not seen you know what i mean and not heard uh -huh. because that's you're going to be a target does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, you know, that's the unfortunate side of this. You you want to get along, be with nature. You want to be symbiotic. But if you get too big of a name, we know that things happen, you know, when, yes. when word gets around that you know how to cure and you know how to actually heal people and you can teach these things to other people, then you become a target. So, you know with with your case you know so much information and, and yeah you know honestly we are concerned for you and for other people I'll that be, know I'll all be, of these I'll things be okay. i think they tried to take me out with the with my hip and what they've done to it but they didn't succeed i'm actually more stronger physically because i've been working on myself um with the herbs adding more protein like because you're, you're okay people have to understand your muscle and, and, and muscle of your heart is a muscle so it needs two certain things to function one is protein and it needs to be good not frying a steak on the barbecue or um, doing things like that you need to go back and have bone broth get all the minerals in your um, back into your body because we're actually deficient of mal malnutrition and deficient of everything leaky gut is the biggest problem that you could ever think of at the moment because you're not absorbing anything there's that much bacteria inside you and but you need it takes time to reverse all that mm -hmm. and and like protein and magnesium is two important things so though like that's when you start to put, like protein is really important there is a paperwork about on on the, on the computer about protein um there's so much information guys please just take read what you can look this is like i said it's from the heart but it's and i've been told to do this 13 years ago i was in a different complete different industry but he said no you're gonna do this you're gonna do this and you're gonna do this but i, I think i got a gift in a way because i do iridology on horses dogs i can do it on cats animals it doesn't really matter and that's how we we can tell what's wrong with you i don't need to go to the doctor and say get a blood test and say oh this is wrong and your body will reflect what is wrong with you it'll tell you you need to just pay attention and, and just so if anybody out there has never heard of iridology, it's when you look at the iris and that will tell you what's going on in the body. Yep. Which systems are, got a lot of information um, and, and all, the, all your body systems correlate with certain different types of items and minerals that they need to function. So we look at all that as well. It's not just, you're not going to go to 15 minutes and the doctor, oh, I've got a headache today or... I feel nauseous. Oh, yeah, just take these tablets. Off you go. Bye. Does anyone actually read what's in those prescriptions? I think you'll get a shock. The side effects are endless. It's like two pages of side effects. Yeah. I, Create, I, you start with one problem and you end up with 10 other different problems. Yeah, I think it's woke up a lot of people. The cure for the plague upon the land has definitely woke up some to maybe they'll pay a little more attention to that now. Yeah, but what's alarming at the moment, what's coming out of that PCC one, um, mm -hmm. with the white lungs. Mm -hmm. um, okay, if you do your research on white lungs, it's a lot. It, that's um, can come down to people that have been working with asbestos, and that usually takes twenty to thirty years to come out into a like come out and in, in the fruit. It's the end of end of your time then because you can't fix it because you don't even realize it's there and when you're smoke like if you smoking um or you have asthma you you can't really tell that 
it's connected because you're you're just dismissing it like it's that, but it actually can be something else. So this is actually quite alarming at the moment, um, what's going on over there. So I did put a respiratory one up as well. So people need to take that on board. Like I said, if you can get a hold of white whorehound, I have endless white whorehound hint. It grows crazy in my house. So I've got that. You've got mullein, you've and just like even put poultice on your onion, crush it up, put it on your chest. Uh, okay, in between your heart and your bone, between your breast is a thymus. You need to concentrate on that. That is your immune key for your body. Okay, when we get older, it just it, it starts to shrink. So you can tap that every day and get it to wake up because your thymus is the key to your immune system. And we brought, it up, we brought that up before as well. Yeah, we used to tap the thymus in Tai Chi and Qigong at the beginning of class. Yeah. That was just part of the warm-ups. Um, so, yeah, we were going to ask about that white lung thing because we know some, something's coming. There's, there's other things that are going to be unleashed. But at the same time, part of what's going on is just simply that people's bodies are failing. Their immune systems are failing. Yes, they are. They are. And, and look, a lot of it now is um, the auto, autoimmune disease part of everything. So the food that we're eating, everyone's getting allergies, sensitivities, um, the thyroid. Okay, thyroid, is, it can be too. You can get the Hashimoto's, which is more the auto disease size of it, where your body it starts attacking the thyroid. Or you've got like um, underactive thyroid where you actually need iodine to function. And a lot of thyroid problems, they um, it's a lack of nutrition. You need to feed it. And then unfortunately, things like people might think it's con- – like I know there's people that are vegetarian. That's okay. You, But I – we believe, okay, like beef liver is full of nutrition. That's for the thyroid. Eggs has selenium and all your vitamins that you need. People don't understand the depth of the foods. Like eggs is the best thing for your brain and – control it does not give you cholesterol that's a myth that's a myth you need to start and like eggs is important like if you look at a turkish diet or middle eastern diet what they don't have boxes of cereal to eat for breakfast i've seen them they eat they have vegetables like uh, fresh vegetables they have cheese they have egg dishes they have everything at breakfast and they all sit at the table and eat together like i said Eggs has a lot of, it has nine amino acids in it, and it's very important. It should be eaten in the morning because it's going to help plant detox the liver. Mm-hmm. I do things a little bit differently than other people. I'm not, I don't want to be put in the same basket as that per, other naturopath that's, you know, in a clinic. No, I, we need to go back to the old ways, and people need to listen and know how it needs. Look, I've given everyone enough information to walk away and, and take care of themselves anyone can contact me i'm happy to talk i don't charge no one to you know for consultation i'm not asking anyone to buy anything off my website i mean it's not about it's not about that no and for the say for the vegans out there if they wanted to stay vegan what would you recommend as far as some of the key things to make sure of uh, b12 obviously yeah, um, B12 is, um, you need like mushrooms. Uh, there's a lot of, of uh, mushrooms. Um, what else is there? Um, mushrooms. Like you've got to have your spirulina, your chlorella, um, and those kind of things. Uh, also, uh, le- like lentils and all those things are great. But like we discussed before, like your blood types, I can't eat lentils every day because what happens and wheat, because it'll just stop your thyroid from working. So you, you can eat those things, but it's going to create um, a lot of autoimmune di- new diseases within you as well, because of the lectins, the inflammation, and yeah. So you gotta you gotta be mindful of your blood type, what foods you can tolerate. It's not a, just about putting things in your mouth just the sake of eating, which what we've done for the last thirty years. It ca- it catches up to you, and just and even to reverse half of those things, it's going to take you a good 10, 20 years. It's not just five minute fix it's you you know what i mean you put that in and you're going to try and take it out a lot of things that you, sometimes you can't help it's it's gone too far sometimes 
So people need to be mindful what you what you need to prepare. Have as much raw foods as you can. Like I have big salads for lunch as well. I, I'm like you. I put pears, mangoes. I have watermelon salad. Um, you can have the rye and you can and incorporate all those things. It's yeah, you need to, because that's how you. And like now, what, what I've what I've been hearing is the oranges that we have today. So like for example, you have one orange, you're gonna eat it. Okay, but you need seven of those oranges to get the same equivalent vitamins and minerals as from the 1920s because all our soil is depleted. There is no minerals in the soil anymore. Yeah, you know, and and again, that there's so many things that that puts me off on di- different tangents. You know, talking about the different yugas and lifespans, and you know, it's interesting because I'll, I'll share a, a tiny little tidbit that we picked up on yesterday. Uh, last night and where this is heading is there's going to be those that go the technological way and are going to end up living in the smart cities just just as was spoken of by that Ida Aukin article from 2016 I think it was and where they said you know you're going to own nothing and be happy and then there's going to be those that are living out in the countryside that are not part of the smart cities not part of the borg the collective the technology and what we were getting last night the info we were getting from the guides was those that are living outside the cities are living much much healthier longer lives than those in the cities and it's part of it's because we're literally leaving the dark age there are changes going on in our bodies. Our bodies are changing. The energy from the sun is triggering new systems to come in place. Uh, we, we're going to be vibrating at a higher frequency. So one of the things that's going to improve is our overall health and longevity. But that's also why they're doing why they're doing all this at this time. Because, you know, can you imagine if, if we live to be 300 years old? We would figure out the system's corruption and we would figure out just how (laughs) they are doing everything uh, against us because we would all live much longer lives, have more time to process and see what's going on. This is why our lifespan is short. It's actually because uh, they make it that way. That's right. You hit the nail on the head. But what I'm concerned about, like I'm talking about Australia in general, Okay, you've seen what they've done to us over the last whatever, how many years. I've come to, this is my opinion, I've come to think that here in this country, people in the country are not going to be safe at all, to be honest. They know everything about you. They know everything about you. They, and I would, I would, I want to know, like, because what they're going to do, they even like, for, like, can't, like they're going to have smart cities. And I believe the first one, in New South Wales will be Bathurst, that's a regional area, that's just on the other side, away from me. And also Victoria is gonna be the first one to go with her. Um, yeah, but they, they wanna even like for us, they wanna introduce a three cents per kilometer um, tax to drive a car. Um, hello, I live what sometimes takes me 100 kilometers just to go to Canberra. Um, don't you think that's like, if I had to walk, it'll take me two days. So that's what I live in that. That's where I live in that, that kind of remote. I, we do have a, a local service station, which is 15 kilometers, but that's just to fill up petrol, and that's it. There's nothing, no shops here. So even like, like, um, I'll, everyone knows my, what what I do with my grandson. He's three years old. Um, if anyone goes on my Facebook, you'll see the what me and him get up to. Um, I'm a grandma, but I still act like a young teenager mucking around with the kids playing music um get him off the social media like he, he loves sometimes to play with the phone um when he's with me he learned he's got his own chicken business like he's whatever we we sell at the local shop that all the profits will go to him so he's learned at a young age how to um look after chickens and um and have grow eggs you know have the eggs um for him, like for us so yeah and it, it, everyone might find might find that weird but you need to teach the kids now um at least if something happens that you can still carry that on and at least still you know like good quality eggs they get fed well um and we still um provide at least you know our local community at least they know where they can come and get food if they need it um yeah that's what we do 
It's so important, I think, in these times because, uh, you know, I, I feel like this is the last year that we have to kind of prepare. And I don't think that we necessarily even have the whole year to prepare before we're in just kind of a a little bit more of a survival mode, so to speak. Um, no, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Yeah. So, you know, again, it, it's it's more than time. Uh, it's past time. But again, you do what you can with your situation where you are. Um, you know, again, I, I think the best place to be would, would still be outside of the cities because the cities are just circulating with all sorts of things energetically and otherwise. I, I hate, like, even just to go see my kids, like, it's two-hour drive. Oh, just, uh, like I've told you from the first video interview that we've ever had, um, when you got, like, arthritis or, like, an injury, like, doesn't matter where in the body, as soon as you get around those um, EMF towers or that frequency, you feel it in your bones. Wherever you're sore, you will feel it. And then when you go away, like, because we don't, like I said, we live off the grid. Here, it's it's totally different. You can feel it. It's it's not doesn't impact your body like if you were in a, like a big city. It's it's really different. And people, that's why a lot of people that when they need to get out, like a, a lot in Australia, I'm not sure how it is over where you are. Here, they're very active in the sense where they love to go camping, they love to go to the beach. They're always every weekend they just want to escape the city life, and it's a, it's it's great. But they need to think about is is my my life really worth living in in a big city? Because I don't think we none of us even know what's going to happen. Like we can prepare as much as we can. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah, I, you I, need to know the, yeah, you need to know the people around you who who is look. You can't trust everyone, but so be very mindful that who you make friends with. Make sure you know who they are, because sometimes they can have ulterior motives and they're not they're not genuine in like a best interest to you as well. So, absolutely, yeah. You know, now is the time to be cementing those ties with neighbors, family, friends, and putting all those plans into effect, practicing them. You know, what are we going to do in case of this, in case of that? And uh, again, try to be as self-sufficient as possible. Be mindful, like we've always been saying, you know, check your labels every time you go to buy something. Every single time, check your labels because it could have changed. Yep. Well, Rosemary, anything else you wanted to share with us this time? Um, no, unless you've got something else. Yeah, but just people need to be mindful of their animals. So whatever we we experience, it's no different from a horse, a dog, cat. Um, I'm sure, was, like, I'm going to say this. It's how how they've made the um, food industry for the pets is the way they've done it with us. So now it's a really big business. You know, dogs have got this problem. I've never heard. We had animals all our life, and, and since year 2000 ish it's affect the animals it's affecting ev everything it, and that's why a lot of um you'll see now um herb rem herbal remedies for dogs cats it's it's and it's blown out of proportion everyone's in on it now especially with the dogs so yeah so just think about your animals just think about their diet the same with their food don't trust the dry food that you get from the shop because i'm sure you got a lot of fillers in there. Absolutely. It's not just not just for us, it's for them as well. Like even like the grains that they give the, the chickens or the horses, um, a lot of them get a lot of arthritic problems. They 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 just mirror what we do. And, and you think what they spray on the food in the out in the when they when they crop, that goes to the animals. They don't they don't um get any treated any differently so it's yeah so just think about your animals as well absolutely we love the animals well thank you rosemary as always very informative lots of good info and we want to thank everybody as always also for their support on ko-fi and patreon check out medicinal foods as well rosemary's links will be up as well as all the usual ones stay safe out there and stay healthy god bless and namaste Namaste.